Where did I put my infinity gauntlet? I just need to move this whole uh, boiler, lawnmower train boiler, out of the way first. My plan now is to upload a video of me fixing up my hand car, or me talking about how my hand car got here once a week or so, until some real progress starts to happen. And in between those, I'm going to try to upload a video every single day of either model trains, or real trains, or this or that, or whatever. And hopefully, at the same time, be able to find a real job again and get paid for that real job because I thought that maybe when I announced my hand car I would gain like a thousand subscribers all overnight but I haven't gained one so this ain't gonna start paying for itself for a little while so I might as well look for something that will actually make me money. How did I pay for this to start? Well I worked for my uncles for about four years and I worked for UPS for a whole month last Christmas and then I made YouTube money for a few years. At one point I was even making it off of both of my channels, but then YouTube changed the rules and I started making less money and it's been a struggle ever since then. And I hope that by announcing the hand car I would gain subscribers, but no. Uh, but it's alright. How many people that I know have over a thousand subscribers? Very few. And even the ones that have more than a thousand subscribers, some of them are so proud or so nutty that they refuse to make money off of YouTube because that would be wrong. I mean, I think if you, if you drive all the way there to a railroad and if you paid for admission or you own a season pass or you have a membership or something, nobody should be offended if you make five dollars a month off of a video. I mean, I'm lucky if I can make five dollars a month off of a video. I don't even think I have three videos that make five dollars a month or more. But, anyway, back when I started uploading every day, I told myself I would upload a video every day that I was not employed. And now, I have, because I have talked about my hand car so much, and because I talked about my lawnmower for so much before that, I was able to build up a stockpile of railroad videos, like Denton Farm Park, like Lionel Train Store, like Transportation Museum, like Newton Depot, like all these places. I had built up a stock of them, so now I can kind of have a rotation going. Like one day you might see Transportation Museum, next day you might see Lionel Train Store, next day you might see this or that or whatever. And hopefully once a week I'll have a hand car thing saying, look, here's how it got delivered, here's all the complicated stuff that went into shipping it. And so that's my plan, to uh, keep on doing that and maybe one of these days have some t-shirts that I can sell that have something to do with the hand car. And when I have those I'm sure I will announce it because I'm in desperate need of the money. So, this next week, look forward to actual real stuff, including quality videos, including this coming Saturday, not the Saturday that this is published, but the next Saturday, I have a really good video, which I have a lot of confidence in doing really well, a video which nobody has been able to take. It's been sitting there for 20 years, and nobody's been able to video it, nobody's been able to get it on camera, and publish it on YouTube, but I did it. So I'm going to show that off next Saturday, but don't get too hyped, it isn't that impressive. I'm sure that it will cause a lot of controversy. <sighs> Alright, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching these videos, thank you for being subscribed to me, thank you for commenting, thank you for your supportive comments. Please be sure to tell me if I'm doing something wrong, because I might not know it. As genius as I am, I might not know it. Alright. Thank you all, and I'll see you within the next week or so.